guys. I am here today para hablar con ustedes sobre ir a y un infinitivo. Today we're going to talk about ir a plus an infinitive. Sounds crazy hard, but it's really not. First thing we're going to do is we're going to look down here at this little chart that I've added in. So if you're using a packet of notes that you got from me, like actual paper copy a long time ago when you were a student in school, you're not going to have this chart. It's review. Um, you might want to copy it down, whatever. All right. So for the last two days, we've talked about just the verb ir, which is an IR verb. It means to go. We know the forms are boy. Whoops. Maybe we do. Vas. Va. Vamos. And van. It's going to be really important that you remember that voy, actually all of these verbs, can mean two things. Voy can mean I go, or it can also mean I am going, that one little word. Same thing with vas. You informal go or you are going all the way down. Okay, so basically two kind of separate meanings right here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at ir, which means to go. A plus an infinitive. Now you need to remember that an infinitive is an unconjugated verb. A verb that ends in AR, ER, or IR. So like trabajar, to work, that's an infinitive. Bailar, to dance, that's an infinitive. Comer, to eat, that is an infinitive. And we're going to use this construction when, let's see how I want to say this in English, when someone is going to do something, all right? So let's look down here and figure out what in the world we're going to do here. I am going to watch TV. So someone's going to do something. This is really important. So for I am going, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to remember voy can mean I go or I am going. So the I am going would be voy. To watch is an infinitive and it's mirror, okay? I'm gonna leave it alone because I want it to mean to watch. I don't wanna conjugate it, don't wanna do anything to it. The TV is la tele or la televisión and the word for now is ahora. Now that looks perfect to me if I don't speak Spanish. I'm like, look, I did it. I got all the words, it's all good, but please notice right up here. This says that after your form of ear, which is your voy, vas, va, vamos, or van, you have to have this little letter a. Ah. Now we know that a ah can mean going to a place, like voy a ah, la escuela or vamos a ah, la clase. But in this instance, it doesn't mean anything, but you have to have it. So a good rule of thumb to remember this is anytime you have a voy, vas, va, vamos, or van, 99% of the time following one of these words right here, you're going to have an a. Ah. Sometimes it'll mean too, like voy a la escuela, I go to school. Sometimes it won't mean anything, but you got to have it. All right, let's go back up, see if we can do some more. Here we are. We are going to eat. So someone's going to do something. So for the we are going, I'm going to use vamos. You can check your chart right here. Vamos means we go or we are going. I know if somebody's going to do something, I have to use that a. Ah. So vamos a. Ah. To eat is comer. I'm going to leave it alone. I don't conjugate it because I want it to mean to eat. You are going to practice. So you're going to do something. I already put the two right here so I don't have to mess with the acento. So vas a. Ah, don't leave it out. Practicar and leave the practicar alone because you want it to mean to practice. Trying to spell that practicar. No, my computer just doesn't like Spanish. She is going ella va a. You have to have that. Now, look, this one's kind of confusing. This one says she is going to go. So you've got to remember that ir means to go. And I'm going to type ir and I'm just going to leave it alone because I want it to mean to go. With me is conmigo. All right, last thing we're going to look at, I want to make sure you understand this, the difference between I work and I am going to work. So remember that trabajar is to work. If I could spell work. Okay, so trabajar is to work. So right here, I just want it to mean I work. So step one, I'm going to conjugate trabajar. I'm going to drop the AR and I'm going to add my yo ending and that would be trabajo. That's a complete sentence all by itself. If you want to have the yo, you can have the yo. It's optional. Yo trabajo is fine or just trabajo. That's I work. Over here, however, we have 
I am going to work. So for the I am going, that would be boy, followed by the ah, uh, and then trabajar, I'm going to leave alone right here because I want it to mean to work. You don't want to conjugate it and make it trabajo, because if you make this trabajo, that would be I am going, I work, and that would make sense. So over here, you leave it alone. Let's do one more of these. Let's remember that the bear is to drink. So this one says he drinks coffee. So I'm actually going to conjugate the bear. I'm going to drop the ER and add my E because it's an ER verb, bebe. And of course, I use something that needs an accent. Cafe. Let me copy and paste it. El bebe cafe. He drinks coffee. But over here, we're going to say he is going to drink coffee. So el, the form of to go for el is ba. So ba, a. Now here, I want this just to be to drink. So I'm going to leave it alone. Bebe, el cafe. All right. So what we're working on today is the ear, the voy, vas, va, vamos, van, a, plus the infinitive where you leave that verb alone, you don't conjugate it, to mean that somebody is going to do something. Adios.